The virus that causes contagious ecthyma, commonly known as ORF, is in the pox virus family. Small ruminants like sheep and goats are more frequently affected by ORF, but this disease has been reported in some wild ruminants like reindeer. People can also become infected. The virus is present worldwide and can survive for long periods of time in the environment in dry scabs that come off of infected animals that may be found in areas like feed bunks and barns. Herds or flocks may develop ORF when infected new animals are introduced and commingled with existing animals. Younger animals in a herd or flock are typically more susceptible to infection. When sheep and goats are infected, the sores that develop are typically around the mouth and head area, but can also occur on the feet and the udder. Younger animals are more susceptible to infection. Lesions typically resolve in 14 to 21 days, but may persist in animals with weak immune systems. Producers and caretakers can help affected animals by offering supportive care, like applying topical medication to severe skin lesions and ensuring infected kids or lambs receive sufficient milk. A person who comes into contact with the ORF virus from an infected animal or fomites can potentially get infected. The incubation period for people exposed to ORF is typically three to seven days. People often develop one or more reddish, weeping lumps on the fingers, hand, forearm, or face. The sore may be painful and can last for two months. With ORF, a low-grade fever may occur, but is usually gone within three to four days. People do not infect other people. Sores usually heal without scarring. While ORF is usually a self-limiting illness, it can progress to serious infection in people with weak immune systems. It's important to remember that if you develop symptoms that could be due to a zoonotic disease, you tell your doctor about any animal contact you have had since this might be helpful in figuring out the cause of your illness. The images seen on the slide demonstrate the lesions that can be seen with ORF infections in sheep and goats. As mentioned previously, signs include pustules and sores on the lips and muzzle and less commonly in the mouth of young lambs, and on the eyelids, feet, and teats of ewes. ORF in the mouths of lambs may prevent suckling. The lesions progress to thick crusts which may bleed. In people, ORF usually appears as a small sore on the finger following contact with an infected animal or contaminated fomite. Sometimes these sores can be more severe in people with weak immune systems.